This is a sneaky peek inside my book Illumination Gold and Colour, Tools, Materials, Techniques, Projects. This little emblem that I chose for the book is an angel copied from one by Barago in the Schwarzer Hours, who is looking in complete astonishment at wonderment at what is inside the book. And I put a quill in her hand because I like to think of scribes as being close to angels. We start with a foreword by my good friend and colleague, Professor Michelle Brown, and then go into a quick overview in terms of how medieval manuscripts are made, including this wonderful photograph by Alan Cole from the Museum of Writing in London, and then get into tools and materials. And every time there is something to do, like this, which is curing quills, or like this, which is cutting quills, it's on this pale peach background to give an indication that these are here is cutting um, a bamboo pen. These are instruction boxes, how to set up a sloping board. And then we're on to materials, how to make oak gall ink, again in this pale peach background with step-by-step -step instructions, making things as clear and as easy as I possibly can. Then on to a tempera painting, including this reference sheet of colour mixing, metallic pigments, Gold, how gold is beaten, thanks to Jan Pickett for taking the photographs. And here making shell gold from scraps of gold and how to handle gold leaf. Vellum, types of vellum, and how to treat vellum, how to stretch vellum, step-by-step -step instructions, all here, all clearly done with clear photographs and enlargements. Onto paper, paper sizes, adhesives to use with gold, how to make them, how to make gesso, including how to slake plaster, reconstituting gesso, and here again step-by-step -step instructions into how to use gesso. Then projects, simple cards, something that even children can do. Little books, making the cards, cards like these, very, very easy to do, and then key alphabets that you can use, capital letters, with some flourishes, and again on the pale peach background so that you know it's a reference. And these are the application card for the letters. Into simple projects, one which is a good one to use for a birthday, um, another one, or a piece on vellum, and into then actually creating a medieval miniature like this. And the processes apply to letters or other animals. And again, we have here step-by-step -step instructions how, what to do at each stage to finish up with something like this. Much more detailed, much more background here, and each stage is referenced by a photograph so you can see where you're up to. Some other things that you can copy, although you can get these from the internet, of course, look up Aberdeen Bestiary, and then on to a vellum scroll in a medieval style that I was asked to do for the Courtauld Institute and the stages that I went to. So it shows you how you can actually create your own um, decorated border like this, the step-by-step -step instructions. It ends on a closer look at pigments, the medieval pigments, where they came from, including, for example, dragon's blood here, uh, thought to be from dragons. And the book is available from me, in which case you get a nice decorated envelope and your name written inside, if you wish. If you prefer to pay by PayPal or by credit or debit card, then go to the website of Cornelison because they take that and I don't.